we're going on. So I'd like to talk about uh, allergies. Um, okay, so allergies are is just a belief system. Okay, and I think if you go into Hawkins stuff, uh, I think it was really really interesting. If you listen to a lot of Hawkins material, especially his satsangs and his questions and answers, um, and he's had quite a few people come in with allergies. Um, so you just ca I cancel my belief in a sugar allergy. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. When you, um, so Hawkins had an allergy to, uh, po was it poison ivy, I think it was. Um, yeah, he had an yeah. allergy to poison ivy. So you cancel the belief. And you get, you get this, intu if you just keep cancelling it and cancelling it and cancelling it, you'll get this intuitive thing. And he also had an allergy to pesticides as well. So if you just can't, you just every day, like you cancel it maybe a hundred times or two hundred times until you like, you can hardly track the, the idea that you've got an allergy to it. Does that make sense? Because you've done it to death. Um, and then you eventually get this intuitive idea that I'll be okay. Um, and he did. And then he picked up the allergy and he, and he went into a place with pesticides and there was no problem. The thing is, um, also, um, as a hypnotherapist, Paul McKenna once did, he was a famous hypnotherapist in the UK, did a, a thing on belief systems where they had someone, they put them into hypnosis where you're very susceptible to beliefs and they put his hand in an ice bucket while they were telling him in, in visualization in hypnosis that he was in the Sahara Desert. So they put his hand in an ice bucket and they said his, his skin is burning and they pulled his hand out of the ice bucket and he had burn marks on it. So the, so the actual external world has got nothing to do. It's just your inner belief system. So you can have your hand in ice and believe that your, your hand's burning and get a burn mark on it. So sugar, or an allergy to sugar, is just a belief system. But you have to, you know, when you cancel something, you know, when you cancel it to death over and over again, You'll, you'll start to, you'll get this intuition like you're immune to it. And then you, and I'm not saying you should try it out, but usually when you have this inner intuition that, that you've, you're immune to it, um, it goes. And that has been, mind you, I found with, with, um, with illnesses which are chronic, they take longer to cancel, and illnesses which are acute are, are quicker to cancel. Uh, and also, um, another way to do, uh, to do it as well is allergies. You know, once you do a thing which is allergic, um, like I used to have asthma attacks, you know, you have flare-ups, yeah, is you, this is the slow way, so that, uh, but if you just feel out your flare-ups and keep cancelling them, uh, over a period of time they get less intense and, and then and less frequent. And that's how I did that with my gout attacks, which are basically flare-ups flare of gout, and my asthma, asthma attacks. Was, I would sit with them and feel them out once they'd happened, and try not to resist, if that makes sense, and experience it 100% without resistance. And then over a period of two or three years, I was discharged from the asthma clinic, and I was discharged from the rheumatology clinic, because what I had done was I just took out, I just experienced it all out till there was no energy left in my system for that to happen and kept cancelling the beliefs. So that's the other way of doing it, but I wouldn't recommend that one. That, you have to do that if you're having flare-ups, but if you, if you cancel something, the Course in Miracles does sort of say, like, it's, you know, you have to be, each time you cancel something, you're just taking a little bit out of the belief, so with continuous repetitions, you're deleting the belief much more quickly, if that makes sense. And if you do it more regularly throughout the day and every day, you'll get to it. But you're an infinite being. You're not a belief. I really loved it when Hawkins would tell people that's just a belief system. Mm -hmm. Like you, people say, I've got an autoimmune condition. You say, that's just a belief system. When people say, I have an allergy to that. Mm -hmm. That's just a belief system. You're not subject to that. <coughs> just cancel mm -hmm. belief. You're an infinite being. And mm -hmm. he said that from he had deleted all his belief systems. So he had the authority to say to others that that's just a belief system and you have the power to cancel that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.